Hello everyone! When I first started using menstrual cups, I had no idea that there were so many different shapes and sizes. Um, and I went in blind and purchased my first menstrual cup, uh, which was the Diva Cup, because it was one of the most well-known cups. So I went ahead and purchased that, and while it worked for me, um, over the months I had started to get cramps, or I was having cramps, I continued to have cramps, and it was just getting unbearable and um, frustrating, and I had purchased another one and another one, and I began to realize after looking for a, a new menstrual cup that might work for me, that there are so many different shapes, and while some of them may work for one person, um, it might not work for the next and there are little differences in some cups which make a big difference when you're actually wearing it so I wanted to go over with you the different shapes and who it might work work better for now please understand that what I say is not set in concrete um, although I might say you know this cup might work better for somebody with a low cervix somebody with a high cervix may use it comfortably as well so please don't say well red herring said it's supposed to work and it doesn't and then you're mad at me so just know that these are kind of just a little bit of a guideline um, like I said so a cup might work for one person and not the other and they might both have high cervix a high cervix or a low cervix so um, it just still really depends on your body and measuring it would be the very first thing that you need to do to find a menstrual cup that works for you best. I went through all of my cups one by one and put them into groups according to their shapes. So I ended up with five different groups and this group here on camera now are kind of my oddballs. They didn't fit into any of the other four groups that I cr had created. So I just wanted to introduce them to you here. So this is the Love Your Body Large. This is a Natural Mama one size and this is the Lily Original um, in size B. It, it's the larger of the two sizes that they offer. Uh, these are fairly lengthy cups the height on them. I'm, I'm not going to do a measurement in this video. I will do um, a measurement of the cups in order from shortest to tallest in another video, but not in this this uh, particular video. Um, but without trying to share my personal experiences with these cups, um, I would say that these three cups are probably suited better for somebody with a medium high to high cervix. I have heard that the Love Your Body cup is is good for somebody with a lower cervix um, because their cervix can actually sit down inside of the cup, and you still didn't don't lose any of that capacity. Um, but it is a, a quite long cup. Um, it's quite round uh, in the diameter also, or quite wide, I would say. So um, it, I guess it really just depends on your body if it could hold uh, the Love Your Body large. So the two in the back here, uh, this is my own cup and this is the Femi Cycle Cup. And uh, I would say that these would be better for the medium cervix. Um, I have not tried this cup yet. Uh, and as soon as I do, I'll give you some kind of word. Um, I'll, I'll put it in the description, perhaps, or maybe just another video altogether. But um, I would say that this one would be better for a medium cervix. A low cervix might also be fine with this. Um, it, it is fairly short, a small cup. And I haven't done a whole bunch of research on this cup. I only picked it up because I noticed that it was made out of TPE, like the Maluna and the Silky Cup. And it would be the third cup that I know of that is made out of TPE. So I just went ahead and snatched it up and I didn't really do any research on it. <clears throat> so this is the Femi Cycle Cup and this is not the Teen 
for the low cervix. Um, and I am actually testing this cup right now. Um, it came in a two pack, so I have the exact same one. And this one was washed, so it has a whole bunch of spots on it. But again, I would suggest these for a medium cervix. Um, low might work with the um, uh, my own cup. This group here are my V-shaped cups, and you can see when I turn it this way that it really keeps that nice V-shape, comes to a, a point down here, and comes right back up. So these cups would probably be better for somebody with a high cervix, maybe a medium high to a high cervix. Um, the point at the top of it makes it a lot easier for them to bear down and be able to pinch just that that um, bottom of the V, that tip there, uh, to remove their cup. Um, so the, these ones in the front are the large sizes um, or the size twos of these cups. This is a China Cheapy, also known as the Green Donna. This is a Diva Cup. This is the Nature Cup or Nature Cup. Um, actually, this is size 2, and they have 0, 1, and 2. So it is the largest of the three sizes that they offer. This is the Cup Lee, and this is the Silky Cup Medium. They also have three different sizes, small, medium, and large. So these two back here, this is the Femi Cup, and this is the Moon Cup. But this, um, oops, I moved it a little too forward, sorry. Uh, the moon cup here is the USA version, and it is size B, which is um, before birth. So the smaller of the two sizes that they offer. And the Femi cup only comes in this one size. Now, I would say that the Femi cup would be good for somebody with um, a low cervix. I, I I think it would work out fine for them. It's nice and soft on the bottom here. Um, so when they, it, it was somebody with a low cervix, when they insert it, I don't think that they'd have a whole bunch of problem. Their cervix can, can sit inside um, and it would still be short enough. However, the the holes on this cup are quite large. Oh, I don't have good light here. I'm so sorry. The holes are quite large on this cup, and I don't know how it would be with leaking. Um, I know I've said several times, but I do have a medium high to high cervix, and uh, this cup was actually really comfortable for me. It didn't suction or seal itself too tightly. Um, and for those of you that do have sex while you're on a cup, this cup might actually be kind of nice because it's soft um, on the back here, but the rim is firm enough to keep its seal. Um, again, this is the Moon Cup, and I think that it would be okay for somebody with a low cervix, just so because it could your cervix could sit inside of it, and you'd still have some room here. Um, I don't have the larger size of this cup, so I can't say anything about that. These are my rounded V cups, and uh, if I bring back one of the V cups and measure it or compare it up close to one of these other cups, you can see that it does come to a point up here, but then it has this rounded body on the sides, um, and the V-shaped cups just come straight down. So these are a little bit different, a different variation of the V cup. And these, I would probably say, would still be better for somebody with a medium high to high cervix. So these are all size twos. This is the Lunette Cup. This is a Blossom Cup. Uh, the Eva Cup and the Yuki Cup. This group is kind of a crossover between the rounded V cups and the bell-shaped cups. The only reason why I had put them in a group on their own is because they don't flare at the um, rim down here 
like the bell shapes, the real bell shape cups do. So um, they're on their own here. Uh, I've heard and read mixed reviews about this cup. Some people with the low cervix say it works fine for them. Their cervix sits inside the cup and they don't lose the capacity. However, other people with a low cervix say that it's just a little too long for them and they can't use them. Uh, all of these cups besides the Maluna uh, work well for me. Um, they're all comfortable and I have a medium high to high cervix. I know I've said that so many times already, um, but they, they're they all comfortable. Actually, they're kind, some of these are, are my favorites and I would grab for any one of these at any time. Um, I know I mentioned another cup and sex, but the Bella cup is nice and soft here. And if you are able to have sex with a cup in, um, this is kind of a nice cup. I do have the smaller size, so I would use the smaller size um, while I was having sex. But it, it's a nice soft cup, the Bella cup, uh, for that um reason I guess <laughs> um, and then the Maluna since I excluded that from from my own personal favorites um, because they do have the shorties in the same size so the di diameters let me just go ahead and move these away the diameters of um, the the shorty Malunas to the uh, classic Malunas are the same, so around the rim are the same. However, the shorties obviously are shorter, and so those would be better suited for somebody with a, a short or a low cervix, sorry, a low cervix, or even just a lighter period um, instead of the classic size. I just lost the daylight coming through this window. But this last group here, my phone is ringing. This last group here are my bell-shaped cups. And the bell-shaped cups have this flare here at the end where the rim is. And a lot of the bell-shaped cups don't have that secondary rim that I speak of in other videos. Uh, some of them do have a invisible secondary rim if you will where the silicone or whatever material they're using in their menstrual cup gets a little thicker as you move closer to this top rim so on the schoon cup right about here it just starts to get a little more thick and then um, the thickest point at that top rim so I've heard that bell shaped cups are best suited for people with a low cervix um, your cervix can sit inside of the cup comfortably and not take up a whole bunch of capacity of the cup. However, I, I'm able to use these cups myself with my, I know I keep saying it, but my medium high to high cervix. Um, a couple of these cups were really comfortable. Um, sometimes some of the bell-shaped cups ride up high on me during the course of the day and it creates a seal that's really strong and sometimes it's a little harder to remove. I just have to make sure that when I do remove it, I insert a finger and break that seal, um, moving the rim down a bit to, to do that and then remove it, remove the cup altogether. <clears throat> um, the Lena cup, and I know I'm, I wasn't going to get into personal experiences, the Lena cup is the firmest of the bell-shaped cups that I have. And usually I don't have a huge problem with the bell shaped, but the Lena cup did give me cramping, and I think it's just a combination of the bell shape and the firmness of this cup. So this cup didn't really work very comfortably for me. However, the small Lena cup was fine, um, although it doesn't have the capacity that I'm looking for in a menstrual cup. So the lineup here is the Ruby cup. This is the medium size, um, the Schoon, the Sibel, the Lena, and the Flare Cup. And the uh, the Schoon through the Flare Cup are all large size or size twos. There's all of my menstrual cups in, in groups according to their shapes. 
Um, hopefully this video helped you narrow down a cup that might work for you. Um, again, it is not set in stone, which may work for one person with a low cervix, might not work for the next person. Um, and the very first thing you need to do is find your cervix and measure it. And there's a lot of great diagrams and great videos on how to use the knuckles on your fingers to measure your cervix to find um, what cup you might be able to start off with. So again, this video is just to kind of narrow down um, what cup might work for you right off the bat. Uh, if this is your very first cup or if you're looking for a cup because your other cup didn't work for you. But it just kind of gives you a little bit of guidelines in which direction you want to go. Um, please do measure your cervix. You do want to measure it while you're on your period because your cervix does move or most people's cervix does move while they are on their period as opposed to when they're not on their period. Some other people might find that their cervix moves in the middle of their period so it's nice to have two different cups um, so that like on your the first half of your period um, you can use one cup and it might be comfortable and then if your cervix moves even more on the second half of your period maybe it drops down lower you'll need you might need another cup that's even shorter so um, just take that into to note so hopefully I covered a cup that you were um, wondering about and if I missed anything you can leave me a comment in the description below or you can find me on Facebook. Uh, until next time, take care. If you're interested in more menstrual cup information, cup versus cup comparisons, or personal reviews, please check out my channel, give my videos a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.